Well, good morning, everyone. God bless you on this Wednesday hump day. Uh, the weather is is uh, doing well. It's cooler today, and it's getting cooler by the weekend. So I already made the decision that we are going to be going in in person outdoors, and so we're I'm really excited about being with you in person. So if you have people that are connected with BCF, by all means, please make sure you you make them aware. Uh, we'll be making public uh, announcements throughout the rest of the week. Um, and so I'm really excited about uh, being able to gather and see your faces face to face. Amen. Love the devices, but I love connecting with you in person. Amen. Today, I want to speak to you as you start your day on making the right choices. You know, the Proverbs 14, 12 says this, there, there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. And so with that knowledge, as you can see on your devices today, I want to look at Proverbs 13, 15, and 16. It says this, a person with good sense, this is a New Living Translation. I wanted to just really kind of make it real basic and simple. Uh, a, a person with good sense, in other words, a person that is wise, a person that's prudent, uh, insightful, a discretionary, right, is respected. A treacherous person, a person that is unfaithful or... Uh, deceitful or disloyal or dishonest is heading for destruction. Verse 16 says, wise, wise people think before they act, fools don't, and even brag about their foolishness. Now, here's a question for us all. And I already know the answer, and you already know the answer when I ask the question. And it's this, how many of us made the wrong choice in life? How many of us have made wrong choices in life? We all have, haven't we? You know, how many of us have made decisions that's cost us maybe the loss of a friend or a damaged relationship with a loved one? You know, most likely we probably all have done that, right? Or have we ever made a decision where it made people just not trust us again? You know, I've always said this to people when, it's, when trust is broken, is trust is fragile. Uh, once it's broken, it doesn't come back easy. And... The question is why? Why can't in the moment if I just say I'm sorry and things get back to the normal? It's just not that way because trust is really a reflection of our integrity and our reliability, right? And it's always going to be called into question. And so trust doesn't come back into play very quickly. Uh, you have to earn someone's trust. And to earn someone's trust uh, takes time. You know, a person of integrity walks in truth and sincerity. Uh, which will earn them not only the respect of others, but also of God, uh, God's favor in our life, because he recognizes and other people recognize that you're using good wisdom. You're good you're using good godly discernment as you begin to do life. You know, however, as this verse says, the foolish, though they celebrate and even glamorize the, by the world, will do things that will eventually and predictably, as Solomon would say, leads to a hard life. You know, the world is in its condition and it actually glamorizes the condition. Because if we didn't glamorize it, if the world didn't glamorize it, we would change. But we are incapable of changing because we are, the world in and of itself is so focused inward of self and pride and so decisions are made even with truth and i recognize this even in the midst of the, this this whole world of tension right now is you can present actual truth to someone but if it doesn't line up with what they want to believe they won't accept it so they won't accept truth so it's going to lead to a hard life but praise God, because we know the Holy Spirit lives within us as born-again believers. And so we have the spirit of truth. And so be able to discern truth from fiction or truth from a lie. But it's important for us to make the right choices based on truth, right? You know, when we mess up, let's, let's go ahead and own it. Own, you, own your failure, own your mess up, and seek forgiveness and seek uh, restoration. And how wonderful it is when we fall in God's eyes, he's able to, when we come to him and say, Lord, forgive me for I've sinned, uh, he knows our heart and he washes it away. You know, that's the great thing about it. And so we get up and, and dust ourselves off, spiritually speaking, and we keep on moving forward. So today I want you to consider the path you're on. 
What is the path you are on? Are you willing to make wise, godly choices for your life and for your family, even if it seems not accepted by other people? Are you willing to walk God's path? Are you willing to make and walk God's choices for your life? If so, you will be blessed. Let me leave you with, with the psalmist that says this in Psalm 119, one, verses 1 through 3. It says this, Happy are those who live pure lives, who follow the Lord's teachings. Happy are those who keeps His rules, who try to obey Him with their whole heart. They don't do what is wrong. They follow His ways. Blessed, happy. You cannot go wrong making choices according to God in His Word. Amen? So as you go through this day, as well as the remainder of your life, make sure you're making choices that line up with what God wants them to be. Amen? And you'll be happy. Let's pray. Father, I thank you and I praise you today, Lord God. And Lord, as we start this day, Lord, help us to make all the right choices, Lord God. We've all made mistakes. We've all made poor choices. We There are moments in life that we have just went by feelings and emotions and not truth. And so, Father, we know that we fall short, but how wonderful it is that we can come to you and ask for forgiveness. And Lord, as we go throughout this day and these that are watching me, Lord God, as they begin to look at their life and look at the path they're on, Lord God, may you reveal to them what path they are. Are they living a, a, a path of righteousness and integrity? Or maybe are they living a path or walking a path that lacks trust, that is poor decision making, Lord God? The Bible tells us in another part of Proverbs that the prudent, the wise, see danger and they make changes. Lord, help us all to be wise people so that we just don't keep on going down a dead end road. Father, I praise you and I thank you for this time. Keep your people safe. Give them travel and mercies wherever this day holds for them. Lord, through this pandemic, God, keep us all healthy. And Lord God, I look forward to being with them again at 714 tomorrow. Blessings to them, Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day today. Remember, make the right choice. And if you don't know the choice, get in God's word. That's why he's here. Get in God's word. He wants you to learn his word. And as you apply your word, his word into your life, Man, you've got, a, you've got a light on the path that you're walking, and you can't go wrong when God's leading you and guiding you. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today. Love you.